Hi, this is the Ask an Angel reading for the new year, 2019. So scan the cards and definitely pick two or three that are really pulling at you, and those will be the messages from the angels for the new year and what to keep in mind or what they might be working with you on um, as we go into the new year. If you need more time, just pause the video, but here we go. The first card, ooh, special message. I almost feel like when I get the special message card that the angels are working with you closely and they're going to be sending you signs, symbols, and messages. This is the guardian angel. Um, the guardian angels are working closely with you. Your guardian angel is, and you're going to be led along the way of your path for 2019 and look out for their signs, symbols, messages that you feel intuitively are coming from your guardian angel and trust that. Trust your intuition and that guidance um, and follow that. You're going to feel very intuitively bonded and, and, and led. Oh, home. Wow. So there might be really great developments happening in your home for the new year. And you're going to feel very firmly planted. You might be planting deeper roots there. This is very fulfilling. It's, you know, a tree of growth. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that a lot is going to be happening around your home, and it could be very fulfilling and happy and great love there. If you got this card, ooh, the shadow self. Um, when I get this card, I think it's more embracing the shadow side of yourself and bringing it to light. There's nothing to fear. You might discover new parts of yourself that you've, you know, haven't given much attention to, haven't shed any light on. Um, and kind of honoring that shadow side, bringing it to light and using it for the positive for the year. This, ooh, clearing. Ah, so you might be clearing and releasing a lot in the new year, clearing out any old hurts, resentments, um, healing parts of yourself, um, and just clearing your energy for more positive forward motion, um, this is Archangel Michael actually was clearing. So could be clearing up your health, your energy levels, old resentments and hurts. So you're free to forge lighter and healthier. You got this one. Ooh, heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. It's kind of a Freudian slip. I said heaven in, on earth. It's kind of heaven and earth are intermingling. So you are embodying heaven on earth, almost creating your heaven on earth. Um, you're very tapped into the spiritual realms even while you're here on earth. So I feel like it's all one, the heaven and earth. And um, this is how you're going to be living your 2019 and probably have been for a while. But it's all intertwined, which is great. And um, that's what I get from that card, heaven and earth together. You got this card, conflict resolution. Wow, so there might be some disagreements or some things that needs to be worked out and you'll be having a peaceful conflict resolution here on whatever needs to be worked out, any agreements, um, anything going on that hasn't been resolved will be resolved. No need to worry about that. Oops, ask an angel this message. Creativity, so your creativity could really be ignited. That's what I'm getting from this card for 2019. Um, you see the fire below and his wings are spread and he's embracing all the colors of all his creativity. So don't be afraid to take chances and go for it and express yourself. Follow that creativity. All those, um, could be almost like intuitively, um, led, you know, on your own with it. Just be inspired, create and, um, reignite those feel, you know, the flame of creativity within you. It's the year of 2019. And this one, Ha! Huh. Surrender. Surrender. When I get this card, it's like surrender to something greater than you. Surrender to the spirit. Surrender and let go. Have faith and trust and things are working out. And um, feeling divinely connected. And uh, you could be actually getting some breakthroughs or inner wisdom or guidance. Some kind of wisdom shown down to you. And surrender, everything is working out, and have faith and trust. So those were fabulous cards. I want to see if we can get one more angel card and see 
Um, what's our last message from the angels for, oh gosh, I knew it had to say something. Ah, children. We got the card children. So we might be inspired. We, it might actually be our own inner child I'm getting from this. Um, you have the butterfly here. I'm transforming by tapping into your own inner child. You also might have children of your own, being around children, being inspired by children. Um, you might be a mentor to children. But um, I almost feel too, it's giving yourself permission to be childlike or kind of embrace your own inner child. See how the butterfly is within her solar plexus almost. It's like, you know, letting, allowing your inner child to come out 2019 or even healing your inner child could be too. Um, but anything to do with children. Love this reading. Um, I just want to pick one more card. For some reason hold on one second let's pick up one more card for the angels for 2019 and see what they have for us the deck didn't seem like it was done i don't usually pick another card but <sighs> i'm so glad prosperity so may we all have increased prosperity and abundance in 2019 this is the angel here prosperity and um, very intuitive, very psychic, opening up all the channels, increasing your prosperity levels, your abundance, attracting that right now. Love that message. So that is for 2019. Lots of prosperity, embrace your inner child, surrender. It, a lot of things about creativity, um, resolving conflicts, clearing out the old, and following that guardian angel. I love that. And uh, that's it for your messages for 2019. Have a fabulous new year and happy holidays. And check out my channel for other readings. Take care. Bye-bye.